updating pictures to look at and we talk about the um, recovery efforts and trying to clean all that up is just uh, you really need a good day to do that. Right. It's a big task already. And so whenever you get the rain chances, it's just not helpful. And unfortunately, as I look at the seven day forecast, it doesn't look like we're going to have any washouts in the forecast, but we do have some spotty shower chances. I just want everyone to be aware of, especially as we continue on with those recovery efforts in our mountain and foothill communities. Let's just look at the overview here uh, starting tomorrow and continuing through the next couple of days. I want to walk you through the rest of this afternoon as well, just to give you an idea of the coverage, but also of some of the totals. At this point, it looks like through Wednesday, we're going to have a cold front move through and I'll show you that on the map here in a second under a tenth of an inch of rainfall possible. That does include some spotty showers with some low accumulations, low end accumulations of rainfall in our mountain communities. By Thursday, it looks like most of that's focused to the south and east. We'll watch that day. High pressure is going to build in and then another cold front moves through on Friday and this is where we could get a few more of those downpours and even a few rumbles of thunder possible with a stronger cold front that's going to be approaching the area. I'll zoom us out a little bit. There's a couple of pieces here I want to talk about. Here's that upper level low that has been slow to depart and has been really uh, initializing some of those showers and initiating, I should say, some of those showers that we've seen at least over the past couple of days or so. We've got a cold front that's going to move through. This is going to weaken over time. That's going to spark some of those Wednesday showers, but fortunately it's a weak cold front. It's not going to be a washout. High pressure will briefly build overhead as we head towards Thursday and then another cold front moves in on Friday. So let's zoom right in right now to our mountain community. Some sprinkles out there right now. Still watching some of these showers to the north and west. So here's what that could mean for the rest of the day. You'll notice some spotty showers in our mountain communities, but I think some of the heavier downpours just looking at some of the latest trends are going to be outside of the mountains, more so in the Piedmont later on into the evening hours. Those will fizzle out and we could get a few more to develop tomorrow out ahead of that cold front that I was talking about before. Unfortunately, focused right over those mountain communities. So we do have that low end rain chance in the forecast temperature wise sitting in the 70s from Boone all the way down towards Asheville across the Charlotte Metro. We're going to see those temperatures topping out in the low 80s here the next couple of days. Wanted to pass this along. Chief Meteorologist Al Conklin mentioned this this morning, but there is a burn ban really from along and west of I-77 in the upstate of South Carolina. They really want to focus all their efforts on recovery right now, so we just can't risk any wildfires getting started up just by any of that burning. So wanted to pass that along. I know this has also been a talker watching the Caribbean. Could there be some development, tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico? Right now running a medium chance of that here within the next seven days, and at this point, that activity looks to stay to our south. You'll be the first to know if that changes, but fortunately trends have been that way here the past couple of days. So there's a look at what you can expect here the next few days in terms of your seven day forecast. High temperatures here in the Charlotte Metro will reach the low 80s really through the rest of the week. That cold front moves through the stronger one I was talking about. Bring some scattered showers and a few downpours with it on Friday. And then as we trend towards the end of the seven day forecast, we'll actually get back into those upper 70s by the start of next week.